The problem status bar entry shows you the total number of errors, warnings, and information messages in your current project. These errors can either come from an extension, such as VS Code's built-in JavaScript and TypeScript IntelliSense, or they could actually be generated by a task, for example. Now you can see here that I have three errors and a warning. And these errors and warnings are all coming from my TypeScript IntelliSense, which looks at my currently open files uh, and detects if there's any errors or problems in those. Now, as I mentioned, these errors and warnings could also come from a task or from one of the extensions you install for a language like C Sharp or Java. Now, if we want to go in here and actually see some additional information about these errors, all I have to do is click on the problem status bar entry down here, and it'll open up the problems pane. So now we get more information about all of the errors that are in my current project. I can just click on one of the errors if I wanted to and see that, oh, this variable is not defined, but maybe we actually had misspelled things here. I can even go in and quickly fix this. So I could say change spelling. Now I've gone and addressed one of the problems. You can see that the problems count down here is updated as I've done that. Go in and fix a few others here. So let's fix the semicolon problem. So now I'm down to just two errors. And if I want to get rid of the problems pane again, um, I can just click on the problem status bar entry, and now I've collapsed things down. Now, if you're finding that the problems uh, status bar entry here is not actually useful, you can always hide that as well. So I'll just right click in the status bar and then go and uncheck problems here. And now I've hidden it. I do usually like keeping it uh, visible because it kind of provides a quick overview of the current status of your project. Um, and it can let you know if you have any errors or warnings in files that you're currently not viewing. So that's a quick look at the problem status bar entry in VS Code.